As we work to rebound from the pandemic, we look for ways to learn from others on how we can move forward and do our best in the midst of things. And our school teachers have really become pioneers. They are forced to set up this new way of learning, and they have a lot of knowledge to share with parents, students, and other educators. Homes across the nation have turned into schools. $5 pesos and a $1 peso. As kids like Owen Arzate go to class online, he's a third grader at Mountain Song Community School in the Springs. We were doing main lesson, and right now we're learning about money. It's a Waldorf school with a very hands-on education. They tackle a different subject each month through art, music, and more. Teachers now trying to keep the creativity going virtually. I'm going to use the bottom half. Mom Ellie Arzate is also a teacher at the school, balancing work and her son learning at home. It's been an adjustment. She says it's tough because Owen misses seeing his friends in person. We have like some time in the morning where we can just say hi and he hello and just talk to each other. Still, he's at an advantage because he knows his teacher and classmates from previous years, since the class stays together through elementary and middle school. She just has a very creative and innovative way of teaching and um, presenting material. My dark orange, my friend. Ellie says her son and other kids thrive on routine, so she just tries to keep Owen on a schedule and says regular exercise is key too. Over at Mountain Song School, Owen's teacher, Aida Bannock, holds an afternoon art class. She says they try to teach the whole student heart, head, and hands, inspiring them to become lifelong learners. What we're trying to do is waken up this, the feeling part of them, to feel excited, interested, um, to feel connected to it, and um, a lot of ways that we can do that is through art. Bannock knows it's really hard for kids right now, and parents can encourage them simply by showing how education is meaningful. Give examples of how what they're learning now is used in your life as an adult. Here I am in my life, and I do need to know my sevens timetables because that helps me in this part of my life. Or when I'm cooking, that helps. Do you know when we can tie in meaning to what we're doing? It fits the smooth side of the bubbles. It's the smooth side, my friend. She's also hopeful that in this world where kids use technology sometimes exclusively to communicate, especially teens, that this pandemic will teach them a valuable lesson. Kids are learning that um, how important human connection is right now by not being able to have that. So there's part of me that is hopeful that that, that learning lesson for these students is something that they can carry forward. How important it really is for us to be together and to be close. How important it is to be in the room with someone. She also hopes teachers thrust into this new way of teaching rely on their biggest resource right now, each other. Take really good care of yourself. This is really hard and collaborate with um, with everyone you know. Reach out to, to, to all of us because we are um, innovating and pioneering something we've never done before. Bannock says she'll continue to try to teach creatively on the virtual platform and by having one-on-ones with her kids to keep them engaged and on track. And of course, the most important lesson of all, we will get through this together. And here's your rebound rundown tonight. These are stressful times as kids have to learn virtually for the first time ever and not seeing their classmates in person. It's also stressful for so many parents working from home or at work and trying to help educate their little ones as well. And teachers are navigating trying to teach virtually when they're used to doing so in person. And some solutions here are have a set schedule for your kid. Many thrive on that routine. Pay attention to their feelings if they're struggling. Try to help them manage their emotions. You can also help your kids by showing how valuable their education is. Show them how what they're learning now is used in your daily life. So that will encourage them a little bit as they learn virtually. And teachers, collaborate with other teachers, maybe even talk to parents and kids. See what's effective in this virtual learning and what's not. And of course, we will all get through this together. By the way, Mountain Song School, it's one of four public Waldorf schools in Colorado. It is accepting intent to enroll forms for next year right now.